What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow FM 23 to 22 series where we look at some young talent on Football Manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers before you guys may like make that purchase in your save. Check, check, check them out here and see how they get on. Down below is the FIFA channel and Let's Play channel all up and running. Let's Play channel's got two series, Ragnarok and Elden Ring. FIFA's, FIFA's got two career modes, United and PSG, and the team videos up there, what's going on there. But also on here, you've got two Let's Plays and also one of the reviews. So much content, but it's not. It is, it is manageable and it is enjoyable, even though I get annoyed at times at the game. <laughs> Anyway, so again, this is another subscriber slash viewer, maybe both. Who knows? Let me know in the comments section if you are. Both, that is. Um, another Serbian. So again, I apologize for balling this up. I most likely will do. Lazar Samaradic. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going Lazar. It's easier uh, to go with that. Um, Serbian, I mean, said midfielder. Two star current, two and a half star current ability, sorry. Three star potential, maybe four star potential. 16 to 90 million pounds valuation. Midfielder, AMC or midfielder central. Likes to play out of the way of a football. I've done a Sky Park, I said name. Extremely interested and very interested in loan and transfer to Manchester United. Again, 16 million pounds to 19, 18.75 transfer fee. Um, now, the Sky Report, so look what it says on here for you. That's not Sky Report, that is Serbian national team. Um, there we go. Um, so he's got, he's a face off his player. He's fairly susceptible to injuries. So let's keep an eye out for that. Uh, agent could, buy, could find a high fee. What else is new? Agents, fees, always high. At least, generally speaking. Um, has a competitive streak and he can bend the rules. As long as he doesn't break them, it's fine. Um, but the plus side, very consistent. That's what's living in another country. Shows, very ambitious nature. Um, balanced abilities, working. yeah, so a lot of positives there. The one thing we've got to worry about is the injury situation, whether that's going to be a problem in this scenario. We'll have to wait and see. So, look at the um, tactic screen here, or the development screen, I should say. AMC, yeah, more natural in that position. I guess the Mazala on this one is the highest one. Oh, no, I'm completely wrong. What else is new? Um, France playmaker, Durant playmaker, yeah, tries to play out of trouble. Very strong on his left foot, reasonable on his right foot. AMC and middle essential, yeah, it makes sense. Um, obviously, there's no traits on here now that would indicate as to which, um, what kind of midfield is going to be, but we'll see when they develop. Straight away, though, you can see 15 dribbling, 15 first touch, long shots 15, passing 15, technique 15. So maybe a shadow striker would work um, with him. Let's look at the, um, the attributes for that. Yep, yeah, I'm right for once. Uh, attacking midfield uh, attack again, that would be fine uh, with those attributes. So yeah, um, shadow striker. It depends on his finishing if that gets a bit higher, but his composure is good, and so is so is so is his technique. So he ticks two of the boxes in the triangle, the triangle of finishing, I like to call it. That is mine. Don't call don't I call it triangle of finishing. Don't start copywriting it. Mine. I know I know the internet. I know how board bean works. Um, so yeah, um, finishing, but again, you know, if he's getting a lot of chances, you'd think at some point he'd score. Um, but obviously, maybe a decent amount of money in the first, in the first season, maybe not. Depends on your view on what is a lot of money for your team or not. So, uh, I don't think is that he's causing his contract or anything, is there? N usually in Syria, no, there isn't. So, let's continue. Alrighty then. Yes, I am Mason Tura. Um, 24 years old. He's now German. Just a, um, I'm guessing he had dual nationality. I didn't notice that. Um, straight away you can see. Dribbling. 16. So is the first touch. So is passing. So is turning. So the, the four we saw really high earlier are still high. Composure up to 16. Finish up to 12. So the triangle finishing, is I call it, is still okay. Physically, not much better than he was before. But again, not a big issue. Good vision and composure. What I'm seeing here, I think deep line playmaker make a role in the in in this with the with the words fail me in the midfield central is fine, um, but I think he's got that dribbling and um, yeah, I think you could easily play him either side. And the fact he's got kills often, right around the goalkeeper plays one twos. 
it kind of fits in the mode of both because you could argue though that boots can apply to either one. Um, the trans kill balls often and, and play out of trouble would be a deep line playmaker match playmaker role potentially. The round the goal game plays one two is more attacking side of things, attacking midfielder, short striker, as we discussed in the previous section. Um, still strong on his left foot and very strong on his right foot. Now, the key thing we want to look at here was his injury record. He did say on the Sky Report at the beginning of the video that he's fairly susceptible to injuries. So, let's have a look. So, we've got... Well, we started doing this in, what, 22. So, let's go from here. Okay. He got injured, he got injured kicking the ball. That's a problem. Because that is basically what you're paid to do, is kick, up, kick a ball. Um, Three months injury in a match when he got a damaged spine. I'm you know what? I'm surprised not longer. Three months damaged spine. We should give more information than that. He got a stubbed toe, bruised ankle, pulled groin. I tell you, these people, these players in their groins. Um, is this susceptible to injuries? I don't. It won't, it's less than I thought it was going to be when I saw that initial scout report. Um, but that's. That sounds interpretation, I suppose, isn't it? But it doesn't smack to me as any big issue there. So let's look at his career stats. So at Napoli, um, he got in the first season, he got no, he got nothing, no goals, no assists. That's disappointing. But then he got three and three, then he got three and four, then four and eleven. So eleven assists. Now where are they playing him? Before the left, surely not. I mean, okay, he can play there. Oh, look, you know, he's a striker. Um, he can play there, but I think you're, you're underusing him there. I mean, he's got 11 assists, so you can't knock it, I suppose. But I'd get him in a more central area and get him in edge of the box. The long shots are 14 as well, so there's a potential for banging a few worldies in. But who might I argue with you, you Nazi when they finished winning the table last year? Is it, is it going to show? Can we see where they finished? Last, they finished ninth. Yeah, um, I don't know. It just feels like he's a bit wasted out there, in my in my opinion. I don't know if you guys agree or not. But again, that's one plus side to him, I suppose. Another plus side is that he's multifunctional, which you know I like a player who's multifunctional. So if you do play a flat midfield for any point in a game based on the way the game's going or necessity, then you can slot in there and he'll be fine. But I think to get most out of him, you want him more central area. But he's got 11 assists in that area, so interesting. Um, I'm assuming no loose claws in his corner. Oh, God, there is. Um, so we've got the delegation release clause and the minimum release clause of £44 million. Pound. Not necessarily going to happen in your save, obviously, but it's something to be aware of that it could happen in your save. Every save is different. As soon as you hit that button, as soon as you hit that button, it's continue. Every save is different. Uh, there might be similarities and common threads, but every save is different. Based on the fact that you're making, you're manipulating the game anyway. So there will be difference every single time. So bear that in mind that they could add a release clause on this guy's contract. Um, when did that contract get signed? 2025, and I'm assuming that's when the clauses came in. They might be already been there, been increased or decreased. So, of course, we can't check that. Of course, I don't think we can. Anyway, um, I'm going to see if he if he gets more essential role if he or if he moves anywhere. Let's find out. Okay, so he's at Monza, and he's again relatively the same stats on technical, mental, and physical stats. Nothing there really concerning me. Uh, nothing there really jumping out as a change. Sorry. Um, I can see there is that is at Tottenham. I didn't know that when I did this. I could, when I do these videos, guys, essentially I just glance at the screen here at the main stats. I don't go into much detail. So this is a surprise for me. So injuries, that's thing we want to look at, isn't it? Really? Let's have a look. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a long list, but there's only two there for like two or more months. Um, I suppose a lot of injuries is qualifies but they're not two so two days seven days four days you know what i mean they're mainly like five days three days four days things like that um i don't know if it's just luck or whether i you know i don't know um luckily they're not like four weeks everything's every single time it's like three weeks here yeah but then then they got injured there at the the eighth they got one there on the ninth and it's not too bad i don't think it's that bad 
Um, it gets you worried when you see they barely susceptible to injuries, but I don't know how that would be put into the game. Whether that's do they go for is 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 that going to be like it could happen or is it like that's going to happen anyway? Again, your thoughts, guys. Have you seen this in your in your save on this guy? Has it been like a long list or have you got worse than this? Let me know in the comment section as well as any other players you think you should look at. I will say you've got this far in the video. Thank you for watching this far. It means a lot. Also, requests, you can put them in there. No guarantee, but I do welcome people making suggestions. I obviously have a final say because it's, well, my channel. Um, right, so. <laughs> so, Yunese, he got 5 and 6 that year. 4 and 11, which is what we saw then. Moves to Tottenham with 24.5 million pounds and got one goal, two assists. Then didn't play him, moved on back to um, Monza. And he got three and one. Now, I'm assuming there's a mandatory fee here, eight million pounds. That's a bargain. That's another bargain here. They've got a massive bargain uh, of Monza. Um, clearly, Spurs just wrote him off as a player. Where are they playing him? More central. Yeah, I think he's been, I think he's the better player than what we've seen with the stats on the bottom of the screen here with the goals and assists. Anyway, Let's see how Monza get on with him. So, I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to stop it here because we're getting to a point where he's 31 years old now. We're going to see a drop off in his stats. Um, and we've got 10 goals in his one season um, so far at Monza. I mean, he's playing left mid midfield left, which is why, again, it ain't bad. He got, he got on loan there, he got 10 and 8. I just had his first deal. And they got 17 and 9, and they got 10 and 4. Yeah, I mean, he's a good player. You just got to play him in a more central area or more second area. You play him midfield left, you ain't going to get much out of him, in my opinion. Tottenham didn't play him enough. Monza got him into Serie A, and look at this 10 and 8, then 17 and 9, and 10 and 4. And 10 and 4. I don't know where this is coming from. 8 million. I'm assuming it's adding on the fees for the. Uh, contract signing on fee. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I can't see what else to do it for. Injury record. Again, it's a long list. But looking at the actual days out for, it ain't that bad. I mean, you look at the longest ones out, and it's all right. Some of these already happened already, but it's not too bad. I don't think it's an issue in terms of. I was worried about. I was worried, I was worried about them being se severe injuries a lot or long-term ones, it's not that bad. It's like two days, three days, two days, three days. It's not ideal, of course, but it's not bad. Not too bad anyway. But very good player. I think he can play left wing, left mid, centre mid, second mid. I think the further the pitch you play him, the more you're going to get out of him. Lots of player traits to work with there. That means he's more functional. He's not all expensive either, um, to be honest with you. And I think that is one of the big selling points for him. Uh, but... Be wary that be wary that uh, Unese may stick that massive lease clause. To be fair, though, Tottenham going for twenty four point five, so not over expensive either. Anyway, but just bear that in mind with that. But I would say play him more in advanced area. Um, what's his weak foot again? On his right foot, reasonable. But you see, he's got seven goals and four assists that season in the league, and this way, and he's been playing there this year and got ten goals and four assists in the wide left position. I'm assuming majority of the time he's played there. But really nice play guy. My, my guy, really important. Wow, I've got that's, that's the phrase I don't usually say. Um, really nice player, really fascinating to see. Um, if you sign this guy, let me know in the comment section. If you're going to sign this guy, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed it, again, let me know in the comment section and hit the like button as well and subscribe to daily content. I will catch you all next episode. I don't know when he's going to go live. These are going to be like released as of when I feel confident to release an episode. Uh, I will try and it might be daily, it might be a, not every day, but there'll be kind of a varied, varied schedule. It depends on how many I've got recorded and simulated in the meantime. But if you have enjoyed it, hope you have, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new as well, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.